going for a short one today. Um, just kind of thinking I want to aim for one T vlog or stream a week. And so, seems like I should get a T vlog done. Uh, I guess I did stream recently, but I am way behind on uploading streams to YouTube. So, I didn't think of topic for this one, which is a problem because this format basically relies on my picking something to talk about that I've obsessed about. It's not the right word. That I've spent a lot of time pouring over in my head again and again, turning, uh, turning into something where I kind of have effectively rehearsed what I'm going to say dozens of times already, and I'm happy with what I'm going to say. Even if, like, every rehearsal ends up being completely different, I've thought about what I'm going to say, and I feel solid in my opinions. And really that's why I haven't done a T-vlog already, and I'm like, oh, if I'm going to keep up my schedule, I need to get a T-vlog out. Just because to do what I do with the T-vlogs, I have to already, like, have the subject locked down and just, like, know it. And I, it hasn't been any subject jumped out in my head. It's like, yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to say there. Like, I'll be like, hey, that's an interesting subject. And then I'll try to figure out how to say it, and I'll be like, it's falling apart. Like, I don't actually know. I, I don't feel like I have it on lock to be able to just deliver the whole thing. If I don't have it on lock, then I can't do this kind of... Not no interruption, but I can't do this vlog format in a way that isn't just very interrupted, very incoherent, that's... If I don't have the subject on lock, I don't trust myself to be able to say what I want to say and avoid saying things that I don't want to say and figure out a way to say it that's communicative. To do that, I kind of have to know what I'm talking about. So, unless I know what I'm talking about, then that's... Not exactly necessarily what's going to come out. This one, I'm totally phoning it in. I'm talking about why I am having a hard time talking. So, it makes sense that it doesn't make sense. That is great logic. Um, yeah. I've also been tired and a bit stressed out by stuff. So, time to make another pot of tea. And, um, you know, let myself spend some time dwelling on stuff and figuring out how to talk about it. Maybe I should just recycle some of the stuff that I've, like, written for essays, actually. Speaking of stuff that I've already dwelled on, like, some of that stuff has turned into essays. And just because I did it as an essay doesn't mean that I can't try to do it as a vlog. So, maybe that'll be next. I'll, uh, uh, I think my last one was, like, ranting about how much I hate the highbrow lowbrow distinction in art and just creative stuff 
I could totally rip off my own essay about how to define art because a lot of that definition was based around I don't want this concept to be tied to what people have what see here's the exact part that's the important part what rich white people have been putting in galleries for centuries. Is it centuries? How long has like galleries been? Like galleries as in the such and such museum of art. How long has that been a thing? But like part of the thing is just like people will put rugs in like the museum in like an anthropology exhibit and they'll put paintings in an art exhibit and that's not a reflection of which is art and which is not that's a reflection of some kind of snobbery about what counts and what doesn't. So, I came up with a definition that isn't based on that snobbery, or it leads away from that snobbery wherever it's based. So that could be a vlog. Uh, and yeah, I think actually, now that I think about it, I think that's probably something I'm going to test for a couple blogs, is just take things I've written that are like essays or essaylets or something like that, and go over that ground again extemporaneously in front of the camera. And like it's redundant? But, you know, a friend of, like, a lot of, in a lot of ways, like, the conversations with a friend, this came, this come, this has come up, and just social justice people talking online, this has come up. Redundancy isn't a horrible thing. Different people will read essays than listen to blogs, and different wordings will work for different people. Someone can hear an idea explained 12 different ways and the 13th is the one that makes it click. So I'll give some redundancy a shot. Gonna see how it turns out.